Hi. So here we have one more problem, of course, to solve. And uh, what we do first? Yes, first we will read the statement and then we will try to solve this problem. So the statement says, a number consists of two digits whose sum is 9. If 27 is added to the number, its digits are interchanged. Find the number. Right? So we have to find a number which is a two digit number. And the sum of those two digits is 9. And when we add 27 to that number itself, their digits are interchanged. So let's first remember the concepts which we have learnt in second standard. If we write 27, what is 27? 2 is at tens place. So 27 is actually 2 tens, which is 20, plus 7, right? So any two digit number, the number at tens place is actually a multiple of 10. That number multiplied by 10. If you have 36 at tens place, we have 3. So it is actually 3 times 10, which is 30, plus the number at units place, which is 6, right? So this is actually the expansion of two digit number, right? So you remember it? Yes. So now let's proceed further. If we have a number in the form a, b, it is not a multiplied by b, it is actually a two digit number where a and b are its digit. What is the value of this number? This number will be 10 times a because a is at tens place plus b, right? Isn't it? This will be the number? Yes. So let me box it. This is just for our reference. So what they say? They say the sum of their digits is 9. That means a plus b is 9. Right? And then they are saying when 27 is added to the number, what is our number? Our number is ab whose actual value is 10a plus b. So if we add 27 to 10a plus b, its digits are reversed. That means ab will become a number like ba whose actual value is 10b plus a. Isn't it? Yes. So 10a plus b plus 27 actually becomes 10b plus a. Right? So now let's transpose all these terms with variables to the right hand side. Why? Because we want to have this constant value as positive. So this can be written as 27 is equal to 10b plus a. When this 10a plus b comes to this side on the right hand side, they will change their sign. So we will get minus 10a minus b. Right? So if we solve it, we will get 27 is equal to 10b minus b is 9b and minus 10a plus a will be minus 9a. Right? And this can be written as 27 is equal to since we have 9 in both the terms, so we can take it as common. So inside the bracket, we will have b minus a. Right? Yes. And now we can peacefully divide both the sides by 9. Here we have 9 and this 27 is a multiple of 9. So if we divide both sides by 9, this 9 and this 9 will get cancelled. And 
on the left hand side 9 ones are 9 9 threes are 27 so what is this equation so from here we have actually got if I write this right hand side first we have got B minus A is equal to 3 right so this was our first equation and I'll call this as our second equation right and now let me rewrite these equations so this was our first equation and here we have found our second equation which is B minus A is equal to 3 right this is our second equation so now let's add both the equation so if we add both the equations let's see what we get we have plus a plus b and here we have plus b minus a so if we add left hand side of both the equation this a and this a will get cancelled and we will have b plus b 2b is equal to 9 plus 3 12 right and if we divide both the sides by 2 we will get b is equal to 6 right yes we have got the value of b as 6 and if we put this value of b as 6 in equation number 1 we will get a which was already there plus b which we have found as 6 is equal to 9 right and from here if we subtract 6 from both the sides we will get a is equal to 3 right so the number actually was a b which we had originally assumed so the number actually was a we have 3 and b we have got as 6 so number actually was 36 and now let's check if we add 27 to this 36 what we get 7 plus 6 is 13 1 carried forward 1 plus 3 4 plus 2 6 yes if we add 27 to 36 the number becomes 63 which is actually the reversing of the digits right so the number was 36 this was our result and these were the two equations which we have formed right this was slightly lengthy but I think you must have enjoyed it we have few more questions like this you should watch those videos also that will strengthen your equation making skills